it's, I think Vietnam is one of the few developing countries in the world that, have, that has made a significant uh, uh, progress in tapping the potential of the fisher sector for socio-economic development. I think the fisher production for the last 10 years has been growing on average by 10 percent. This is, this is huge by, by any standard of the imagination. And the export of the fisher sector in Vietnam today generates close to 10 billion US dollars. That is, that is huge coming from one sector, from, from, from one of the developing countries in the world. And the, 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 the biggest success for Vietnam is not from the catch fish, it's from aquaculture. Uh, today, aquaculture uh, production accounts for 55% of the total fisher production in Vietnam. I had the opportunity to visit, for example, one of the processing firms that employs 3,000 uh, labor force. 3,000. It's only one factory, which is based in, uh, in the city of uh, Nha Trang. Uh, and 98% of the, the workforce are women. So it, is, it has both the social dimension of it, is, the gender aspect of it, and also the, the income level for people working in the fisheries sector is comparable to those working in the manufacturing sector. So it has substantial impact on poverty reduction. It has the notion of sustainability because the more you develop your aquaculture, it reduces tension on the natural catch. You know, overfishing is a problem. Uh, depletion of the fish stock is a challenge. But when like, aquaculture becomes at the rescue of the natural catch, that is something you would like to emulate in many other developing countries.